Um, so we're going to talk about graphing linear functions, which again, we've already talked about. So we're going to go back over slope intercept form. We're going to go back over standard form. So again, it's all stuff we've already talked about. It just kind of making sure that we're good with the specifics. Okay. So everything we're going to be doing, uh, dealing with today is going to look like this in some degree. All right. So graph the following function. So there's a couple of different ways of graphing, right? We're going to go over the two, see if you remember. I told you, if I tell you to graph something and I, you don't remember how to graph, what do you do? Make a what? Make a table. What values do we use? If I ever give you something and you're like, I don't know how to graph it, that's where you start. All right, so plug in the x value. So plug in a negative 2 for x. What do you get? Negative 4. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Plug in a 0. Plug in a 2. What do you get? All right, so we're going to be at 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. We're still at 0, 0, right? At 1, I'm at 2. At negative 1, I'm at negative 2. 2, I'm at 4. Negative 2, I'm at negative 4. So grab my ruler. And that's close enough to say it's good. So slope-intercept form. Everybody remember slope-intercept form? So what's your general slope-intercept form? What's your generic phrasing? Y equals MX plus B. Okay, and again, what's the M stand for? Slope, and what's the B stand for? Yep. Y intercept. Okay, so when we graph, which one do we use first, M or B? We use the B. Once we find the initial point, which is another name for our Y intercept, then we use the slope to find a second point on our line. And again, how many points does it take to make a line? Two. Minimum of two. Okay. So we only really need two points, but we prefer three just to make sure that we're not screwing up. Okay. So over here, what's our slope? And what's my y intercept? Okay. So when I graph, where do I start? M or B? B. So what's my B value? Three. And okay, is that an x-intercept or a y-intercept? A y. So how do I go, how do I find where B equals three is? From, from where? So from zero, zero, I go what? Up three and I place a point. This is my initial point. Yeah. So the y-intercept, what that stands for is that's where your graph is crossing the y-axis. Okay, they're telling you, hey, we're going to cross the y-axis at 3. So that gives you one point automatically that's easy to find, right? X-coordinate 0, y-coordinate 3. From my initial point, what do I do? I use the what? The slope, which is always thought of as a fraction, right? So from my y-intercept, what does my slope say to do? Go up to 1, 2. Over one, which way, left or right? To the right. So this is another point on my line. Everybody okay? Okay, now do I really have enough room to go two more and one over? No. So what do we know about a negative divided by a negative? What does that get you? A positive. So is my slope positive here? Okay, so what would happen if I go down two and one to the left? Do I still ha get the same values? Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. Go down two, go one to the left, and get my third point. Everybody okay with how I'm building this? Yes, no, maybe? So sometimes, you, you know, you guys tend to just extend the graph, which is fine, but then you're losing accuracy. So remember, if it's a positive slope, go in two negative directions, right? And that still gets you a positive. So we use the third line or the third point just to guarantee the accuracy of our first two. And once we look like, yeah, okay, that's a straight line, then we go with it. Everybody okay with slope intercept form, right? You remember all this stuff from the last three years, I hope? Everybody good? All right. So, okay, so what's standard form of a line? I've already talked about it. Does anybody remember what's our generic standard form of a line? So in standard form, AX plus BY equals C. When they give you a function in this format, we can graph in three ways. We can make a table like normal. We can solve for Y and convert it into slope-intercept form. Or we can do what's called a quick graph and graph by the intercepts. So what that means 
is you calculate the x-intercept and the y-intercept, and those serve as your two points. So if uh, we're looking for a y-intercept, right? So if I'm anywhere on the y-axis, what's my x value anywhere on the y-axis? Zero. So all I do is I plug in a zero for x, and that's going to get me my y-intercept. Everybody okay with that? Yes, no, maybe. So how do you find an x-intercept? X-intercepts happen when y is what? Zero. So a, y, a zero for y gets me an x-intercept. And all you really need are the two intercepts, right? You have the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Plot them, connect the dots, you're done. Everybody okay? So plug a zero in for x. What's three times zero? So that gets me 2y equals 6. How would I get y by itself in that? And what's 6 divided by 2? Everybody okay with how I'm finding that? Or do you want me to write it out? Yeah. So we take our function. And you plug in the x value, right? So I know 0 equals x. So 3 times 0 is 0, so that leaves me with 2y equal to 6. And then how do you get y by itself? Divide by the 2, and y equals 3. So there's 1. And then over here, we're going to take the same function. Except this time around, what's my y value? Zero, right? Like that. So I'm trying to find the x-intercept now. So what's 2 times 0? So I get 3x equals 6. And how do you get x by itself? Divide by 3. So x equals 2. So now I have my x-intercept of 2. 2, 1, 2, 3. And I place my intercepts. I have an intercept on the x-axis of 2, right? x equals 2, y equals 0. What's my y-intercept? 3, 0. Grab your ruler. All right, so we're basically going to be dealing with just two uh, line types in this section. We're going to be dealing with slope-intercept form, and we're going to be dealing with standard form. Everybody all right with that idea? Yes, no? Up next, horizontal lines versus vertical lines. Again, we've already started talking about this. So, uh, horizontal line, what's the slope? Of a horizontal line. Okay, what about for a vertical line? What's the slope of a vertical line? No. Undefined. All right, that's where you have a zero in the denominator, correct? Okay, does anybody know what the equation to a horizontal line looks like? Let me clear that off super quick. Think. All right, so horizontal lines are y equals, vertical lines are an x equals. So can somebody give me an example of the equation to a horizontal line? Because what we're saying is, is that they're going to X up here at all? No, so I'm saying whatever X is, what is Y always equal? 3. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So if X equals 5, what's Y? 3. If X equals negative 2, what's Y? If X equals 843, what's Y? Everybody okay with how this is working? We don't care about X at all. No matter what, Y is always 3. So that's what creates the horizontal line. So so if you have a line that says y equals 3, that means that forever you're going to get the exact same value of 3. And that's what creates the horizontal line. Hey, get over here. So can somebody give me an example of a vertical line? of the equation to a vertical line, sorry. X equals 1. Okay. So where is it going to pass through the x-axis at? At 1. So I go to 1 on my x-axis, and then regardless of what my y value is, what's my x value always going to be? 1. So that's what's creating the vertical line here. Okay. Is everybody all right with that connection, yes or no? So the easy way to tell... If you're looking at a vertical horizontal line or if you're looking at a skew line, it's how many variables are there, right? If you see two letters, what does that have to be? Skew, which means slope intercept or standard form, right? If you see one variable, what is it? It's either vertical or horizontal, depending on which variable is there. C just is a generic letter. It means any number. So it could be x equals uh, two halves. 
not two halves, sorry. <laughs> That's one. Uh, three halves. So that means that you're at one and a half. It can be any real number. So basically any value along our number line, we can write an equation for. It. 